According to what the Father has revealed to us today, the decree of heaven that is being carried out over your life at this moment is that the evil schemes that the adversary has created against you are being destroyed. The benefits that I have prepared for you will not be spoiled by those who strive to take your joy and tranquility because I am not willing for you to spend your life without joy. You will not be able to experience joy. Rest certain that I am your guardian and that my unflinching care envelopes you and protects you from any damage or loss that may occur now at this very moment. Although there are moments when you may not be able to feel my proximity, I am aware of every single breath that you take and every single beat that your heart makes. I am watching over each and every one of these things. Not a single aspect of your life is not completely under my control and being attended to by me. I am in charge of everything. In the same way that I take such care to ensure that each individual strand of hair on your head is even, how much more do I value the anxieties that are weighing heavily on your spirit? My name is Faithful, and I am your trustworthy guardian by angel overseers at all times of the day and night. Surrender those anxieties to me, since I am your guardian. I am directing each and every aspect of your life, guiding you through each and every valley and guiding you over each and every mountain. My boundless mercy is a gift that is freely offered to you, and as you go on each new adventure and embark on each fresh start, you will discover that it is waiting for you. Therefore, let your laughter resound with the unbridled joy of someone who has discovered the genuine meaning of freedom. I am bearing the loads that you were never intended to take, and the efforts of the adversary to crush you will be in vain. On account of the fact that I will reveal my power and strength in your life, you will not be disappointed. Always keep in mind, my kid, that you are never by yourself. And even at the most difficult of times, I will never leave your side. This love that I have for you is greater than any mountain and more profound than any ocean. I will bring you to your blessing place, which is a place of peace, joy, and abundance that is overflowing. If you trust in me, I will guide you there. The Father stated today, I am the God who has never planted anything in a row, and I do not use those who qualify themselves, nor do I use those who others qualify by human standards. He also stated that he does not employ those who qualify themselves. Despite the fact that other people have rejected you based on what they have heard with their ears or seen with their eyes, I declare that you are my chosen and my elect one, and I am using you to achieve my purpose in accordance with your calling. For the purpose of demonstrating my faithfulness in the response that is forthcoming, I pit a person against the impossibilities that are present in their lives. In this same way, I will use you as a billboard to proclaim that the impossible is becoming a reality and that the highest heart's desire is being fulfilled in amazing ways that offer others hope that goes beyond what they have been walking in. You are going to embody the incongruous manner in which I carry out actions that no one anticipated I would carry out. You are going to be a poster kid for this. The way you live your life is being redefined by me. In the same way that you feel the earth trembling when they bring in the heavy equipment, this thing is similar. You are aware of the shaking that is occurring beneath your feet, consequently, you are aware that I am bringing in the heavy machinery because I am going to start excavating your life in order to expand your potential to be a conduit for the commodities of God and the promises of my kingdom that are realized as if in a single day. I also want to tell you that the Spirit is the one who moves money. There is no evil in money. The phrase, money is the root of all evil, is very common. Money is not the source of all evil in the world. I will make you a conduit of heaven's resources out to the initiatives of the kingdom. 
Money moves by the spirit, and it is not about being a storehouse only to meet your needs. I will make you a conduit of heaven's heavenly treasures. As long as you pay attention to my voice and respond with faith at every opportunity, I will not only show you a surplus but I will also keep you in surplus. This is not a metaphor, it is simply a metaphor for spiritual enrichment, it is money flowing your way, and things that are obstructing the flow of my blessing are being eliminated. Your emotions, your goals, and your desires are all things that I have placed there for the purpose of bringing about the fulfillment of your destiny. I will free you up so that you can put those things into action. The agony that you feel in your heart is the prophecy that surrounds your life, I tell you. When all of the things that can be shaken out of your life are removed, and the only thing that is left is that which is life-giving and productive, creating evidence of my goodness in radical ways for you and for those around you, then you will know these things and see them being taken into realization. The father asks, how are things going with the training, today? I am teaching you to see and hear things that other people are unable to see or hear. You are being provided with x-ray vision, which allows you to discern the reality that lies under the surface and to see the architecture that lies concealed inside the world around you. I am anointing you to give voice to my message and to make these insights known in order to strengthen the faith of others and to bring them closer to me than they have ever been before. It is going to be difficult, and not everyone is going to agree with those words that I have placed in your heart and in your voice. The natural world may contradict what I show you, but you must declare my word with authority even in those situations. As you go, the circumstances will shift. The concealed threats will be brought to light, and those who are in need will be rescued. People will be saved from difficult situations and actions that are not in their best interests by your prayers and timely words. Additionally, I am sweeping through your personal and family life by means of my spirit, eradicating anything that is preventing a pleasant atmosphere of joy, cooperation, and togetherness from existing. The precious qualities are being refined by me, and I am getting you ready to be decked with my gems, which will reflect my clarity. Watch for the arrival of clarity. Eventually, you will comprehend what I have been explaining to you. In order to safeguard you from the tactics employed by the adversary, a powerful angel has been entrusted to you. I am providing you with security from outside sources. An intercessor with a prophetic voice and x-ray discernment, you are not to be taken lightly. You are soaring beyond the conditions that life presents you with. Prepared for this season, you are my stealth, my secret weapon, and my secret weapon. I have carefully concealed and guarded you, and now I am commissioning you to do something. Your arrival on earth is being announced by me, and I am sending a multitude of angels to accompany you. The authority of my oracles will be carried by the words that you speak. In order to accomplish things and do things that have never been done before, I will demonstrate innovative ways to do things. You are going to give me all the praise. It is because of this that I am making use of you because you have made the decision to glorify Jesus Christ. Consider the future with a tremendous deal of anticipation. Your life is being transformed into something lovely, a prize that will be kept in my home. You are already giving glory to me even though you are one of my golden vessels. I am about to give you a promotion. Secure your seatbelt in place. As of today, the Father has informed you that there has been a burden placed upon your spirit, a weariness that has diminished the light that is inside you. Your life has been difficult, your disappointments have persisted for an excessive amount of time, and the weight you carry have robbed you of your joy. Be reminded, dearly loved one, that the time has come for you to experience restoration, rejuvenation, and endearment. 
I see your tears that are not expressed and I hear the cries that are not spoken from your heart. I am the God who restores ruined places and restores time that has been lost. You can anticipate a new outpouring of my spirit to wash over you, which will revitalize your soul that has become weary. Your happiness will come back, and it will not be a transitory happiness that is reliant on the circumstances, rather, it will be a profound and enduring contentment that is rooted in the unwavering love of your Father. A new melody will emerge from within you, one that has been stifled to the point of silence. You will find that your creativity will flow freely, that worship will come easily from your mouth, and that the uncomplicated beauty of everyday life will once again bring a smile to your face. This is more than just a sensation of improvement, it is a restoration of your fundamental soul, a return to the vitality for which you were being made. This restoration will not be a quick fix but rather a prolonged process of healing and renewal that will take place over time. Give me permission to guide you through this trip in a gentle manner, providing you with the strength and comfort you require along the way. When you allow me to alter you and open your heart to my love, you will undoubtedly have the opportunity to experience a level of joy and resiliency that you were not previously aware was possible. Your melody has been restored with a strength and beauty that will surprise you, despite the fact that the world may have attempted to stifle your voice throughout history. Your one-of-a-kind music and your one-of-a-kind mission are both being brought back to their natural splendor. I want you to embrace this season of restoration with hope and anticipation, knowing that the best is yet to come and the renewed unfolding of my favor. My unadulterated favor is reframing your battle from one of difficulties to one of revealed and manifest destiny, says the Father. As of today, the Father has revealed to you that you are engaged in a conflict inside yourself, a struggle between control and submission. I want to tell you to pause and enter into rest because what I am doing is beyond what would seem clear to you or to others for that matter. You want to implement changes that you believe will speed you up to the middle of my will, but I say to you, pause and enter into rest. You've had a strong desire to design your own way, because the answers can appear to be plain at times. However, you've also recognized that this conflicted with the gentle pulling my soul to let go of the reins and allow me to be the architect of your blessing, favor, and destiny. When you feel the pull of my spirit on your heart, you should let go of your direction and strategy and walk toward what I am calling you to do, regardless of whether or not it makes logical or appears to be connected to what I have promised. Beloved, this is the dance of surrender. An invitation to relinquish your tightly held ambitions is a new step you must take in this season in order to grow into a deeper collaboration with my kingdom than you ever realized was possible. The human will moves away by its very nature, but this is the dance of surrender. Do not be afraid, the Father tells you. I am not dismantling your vision, rather, I am elucidating it beyond what you have comprehended or experienced, and the end result will be significantly more than you could ever hope to comprehend or comprehend. It is not a surrender of defeat but rather a surrender of trust. Trust that I am the one who sees the big picture, who is disclosing secrets and hidden things that you need to know, and that I have a much more beautiful design for your life than you could ever choreograph on your own. I am the one who sees the big picture. Offer up your plans, your schedules, and even your aspirations with complete surrender. Once you have laid them down at the altar and said, Lord, not my will, but yours be done, you will experience a great sense of peace as you learn to submit. The struggle will come to an end, and in its stead will be a serene confidence that you are being guided, step by step, into the fulfillment of your biggest dream and the deepest heart's desire from the very beginning. You should be prepared for opportunities that you did not anticipate, heavenly appointments, and open doors that could not have been created by human effort. This is the experience that comes with walking by faith, 
where the unexpected becomes amazing and the miraculous becomes commonplace as a result of your response to your life of faith. The Father has declared that I am a fire that consumes, and that I am pouring out onto you to devour the wood, hay, and stubble that have impeded your advancement in my kingdom and your destiny, which I have set for you before you were born. My presence is like the heat of a refiner's fire, and it is currently engulfing you. In contrast to a destructive force, it is a cleansing force that is designed to bring out the genuine brightness that you possess. You have been unable to make progress because of impurities, mindsets, and attachments, which are similar to dross that adheres to precious metal. Because of the boundless love that I have for you, I have led you thoroughly into this period of refinement in order to eliminate these obstacles. Recognize and accept the suffering that this process brings, as it is a sign that you are being converted into a vessel that is capable of being utilized more effectively. Give the flames permission to consume old wounds, fears that are obstinate, and beliefs that are confining. As you give in to the fire, you will discover a new kind of resilience, a strength that you were previously unaware you possessed. The things that used to hold you captive will eventually lose their ability to do so by themselves. After going through this furnace of my glory, you will emerge lighter, more pure, and carrying a larger anointing than you have ever carried before. Despite the fact that it reveals, the fire does refine. With the impurities being burned away, your genuine beauty, your genuine self, will show forth with a clarity that is magnificent. No, this is not a punishment, rather, it is a preparation for a destiny that will have an influence that is unmatched. At first, the fire may put your faith to the test, but in the long run, it will serve to strengthen it. It is necessary for you to go through this process if you want to achieve the results that you have been asking for. This is all a part of my procedure. It is possible that it will test your determination, but it will strengthen your character. You can put your faith in me as the master craftsman who is diligently working to transform you into a masterpiece that will inspire and bless the international community. You are not going to be broken during this period of refinement, rather, you are going to be transformed into the vessel of honor that you have always been designed to be. Since the Angel of Transformation has entered your position in order to bring about the transformation, the Father has informed you that you are surrounded by an atmosphere of anticipation during this season. In the midst of this pregnant pause, where the seeds of your destiny lie dormant and hidden under the surface, there is a heavy sensation of waiting that hangs heavily in the air. This apparent lack of activity should not discourage you in any way. Your spirit is going through a metamorphosis, a strengthening that cannot be rushed, just like the roots of a big oak tree are pressing deep into the earth. The current season is one of incubation, a time for introspective labor on a profound level. The world places a lot of importance on external accomplishments, but the actual strength lies in the realms of the spirit that humans cannot see. As you work to develop your capacity for patience and trust, you are setting the groundwork for a future that will be marked by tremendous development and abundance. Imagine a sculptor at work on a slab of marble, chipping away at it in order to gradually expose the masterpiece that remains concealed within. In a similar manner, the Father says, I am transforming you into my image, removing the impurities that are preventing you from shining. It is important to keep in mind that this process, which may at times feel slow and even unpleasant, is completely necessary for your ultimate pleasure. Put your faith in the hand that is guiding you on your trip. Your soul will be nourished by my word, prayer, and acts of love and service that you perform. You are accumulating the strength and wisdom that will enable you to face the challenges and opportunities that lie ahead of you as you continue to accomplish this. The time spent waiting is not time that is squandered, rather, it is time that is spent preparing for something or becoming something. 
Always keep in mind that the most magnificent blossoms are the result of a time of preparation that is kept secret. Even though the two individuals who were traveling to Emmaus were kept in a location of concealment while I instructed them along the route and subsequently disclosed myself to them, I was still able to teach them. Strength is being built within you that will allow you to withstand any storm that may come your way. Don't concentrate on what other people can see, rather, pay attention to the work that is going on behind the scenes in your heart. In a short amount of time, the breakthrough will occur, and people who have simply seen your growth will be amazed of your progress. Prayer is the first thing that the Father instructs us to do today. There is no longer any trace of yesterday. The future has not yet been shaped or determined. Today is the day that holds the most significance in your life. To walk in my presence, you must first embrace it, then live it. Remember that you should not let the mistakes or regrets of the past weigh you down. These individuals are forgiven and forgotten. Let go of them and proceed freely in the grace that I have bestowed upon you. You should not be concerned about the unknowns or difficulties that will arise in the future. Put your faith in my omnipotent plan, and take comfort in the promises that I have made. This day is a present. My love, the fulfillment of my purpose, and the ability to have an impact on the world around you are all opportunities that are presented to you. Through prayer, seek my direction each and every morning. Pay attention to my voice, bring your heart into alignment with my desire, and then take the first step into the prosperous life that I have planned for you. Examine the amount of time that you devote to me throughout the day. Not squander your time on meaningless activities or distractions from the outside world. You should focus your time and energy on the things that are genuinely important to you, such as your connection with me, your service to others, and your development of faith. Gratitude, intention, and purpose should be your approach to living each moment. Make it a point to incorporate an element of impossibility into each and every prayer that you pray. Aside from that, you have overlooked me in your plans for the future. Always keep in mind that I am here with you. I am the source of your stability, your solace, and your direction. Believe in me, put your trust in me, and live in obedience to the commands that I give. New beginnings are being made today. Accept it with cheerfulness, optimism, and self-assurance. You should make it your goal to travel in first class all the way through. This is not the end of the story. According to what the Father has revealed to us today, the things that you believe you require and the things that you believe you desire are not actually the things that would fulfill the yearning of your soul. To bring you closer to me, I have implanted desires within you, a craving for something more than what you currently have. As soon as these desires are brought before me, they transform into a proposition, a request that originates from your heart and mind, which I am willing to answer and answer in its entirety, says Allah. My experiences are waiting for you, and they include revelation, understanding, and the disclosure of things, including secrets that have been concealed since the very beginning of the world. In addition, you will witness healings and miracles, and this will be to a significant degree. You will extend your hands to those who are afflicted, and they will be healed. The manifestation of my power will take place through you, and it will flow through you like a river of live water. Because of your deeds, people will be able to see my glory, and they will be amazed by the transformation. In spite of the fact that you are becoming a vessel that is being emptied out in this dry and thirsty region, you will not be finished. You will not be depleted or left feeling empty as a result of these things, rather, as you witness the blessings and deliverances accomplished by others, you will be empowered and filled with my spirit. The experience will be one that is filled with joy and excitement, much like an amazing trip. 
For I am not a God who places restrictions on things, rather, I am the one who is limitless, and the limitlessness that I possess is yours. My capacity to heal is not constrained in any way, I am the God who will do miracles. You will notice obvious indicators of my power, such as the eradication of scars and the creation of new skin. You are the one who will walk in this anointing, demonstrating my power to a world that is in need of it. When others witness your faith, they will wonder how things could possibly be like this. You are going to demonstrate to them, not just by talking, but also by doing. It is important to keep in mind that you are never required to discuss the ways in which you exhibit my power and spirit. Others will go from a scoffing and mocking attitude to one of wide-eyed belief and surprise by the end of the conversation. You are going to extend an invitation to them to take part, to become participants in my kingdom, in the progress of my kingdom, and together, you are going to see the miraculous as something that happens on a daily basis. As of today, the Father has revealed to you that you have been bestowed with a unique blessing from my hand, one that is quite uncommon. It is a blessing that is above your own capabilities, and it is one that is abundant. It launches you into a sphere where you will require my power and supernatural endowment in order to be successful because of it. However, keep in mind that I will never abandon you or leave you behind. On the occasions when you require me the most, I shall emerge from within you to meet every obstacle. You were created by me while you were still in your mother's womb, and I gave you life and a purpose. In order to be by your side, I have introduced you to two reliable individuals throughout your life. They will be your allies, providing assistance for you in times when you are unable to provide for yourself. In times of difficulty, they will serve as a source of support and a safe haven. In the work that you accomplish, I will anoint you with the spirit of Joseph, and I will launch you into the ministry portion with a big anointing and endorsement. It is going to happen that your position in everyday life and your destiny in my kingdom will get intertwined and become one. I will enable you to activate a ministry within yourself by synchronizing them. You are going to do more than just work. You are going to speak my messages and convey my character to people who have a need to actually experience it. My character will be demonstrated by you, and you will love those around you with the kind of love that maintains that no one is expendable. Even when you are forced to split ways with someone, you will impart my life, love, and character to them so that they might have a successful journey. You will be surrounded by blessings and favor as a result of the flawless integrity that I will establish throughout you. Don't be afraid or reluctant in any way. Move forward with confidence, for I shall be there to support you. You don't have to pretend to be someone you're not, instead, you should be the person I designed you to be. In this position of leadership that I have established for you, I will overshadow you with my boldness, I will implant you with my wisdom, and I will open your lips with clarity. Keep in mind the two individuals who I will be sending your way and who will be your buddies. Put your faith in them and in me, for they will view you not only from a natural perspective, but also through the eyes of my spirit, shedding light on your role and destiny in my kingdom. There may be times when you are confronted with difficulties and even intimidated, but you must never forget that I am always with you, even to the end of the age.